And welcome to the news today on YHC, where we get started with our special guest today. We have Jim Hall along with us, and Jim's good to have you back. And we know every time you're you're on, you come back. That we're always talking <laughs> either, about some food. It's either chili <laughs> or or chicken and dumplings. Right, right. This time it's chili. Yeah, and you've got the chili feed each year down at the First Christian Church here yeah. in Dexter. In uh, November of every year, for the last several years, we've had a uh, we call it a chili feed. Uh, it's uh, Sponsored by the uh, men's association at the Christian Church, uh, the uh, women, the women's association helps us. They they pretty well provide the uh, desserts and and do some helping distribute the desserts on the on the day. But basically, it was started by the men, and it was actually started to uh, raise a little money and sort of start getting a little uh, kitty fund back to uh, hopefully to some at some point in time to build a uh, disciple center which we were fortunate enough to do. Uh, I think we're in our fourth year, third or fourth year in the Disciple Center. And of course we still have debt on it. So any, everything that we make from the chili feed and, the, and later in February, the uh, chicken and dumpling, we apply to the uh, debt of the Disciple Center. Okay, very nice facility there. Very good, yeah. very nice facility. We're really proud of it. Uh, it uh, serves our function uh, purpose very well. Uh, it uh, you know for the youth it uh, has a basketball court and tennis uh, use uh, for volleyball also and uh, uh, seats a lot of people and uh, got a good kitchen uh, facility and so we're really proud of it sure and chili feed is Friday tomorrow chili feed is Friday tomorrow we uh, we sort of arranged to have the the weather uh, cooperate with us and turn cold uh, <laughs> turn cold the day before the uh, chili feed. Uh, you know, it's this, this is chilly weather, chilly uh, weather today, and uh, supposedly tomorrow also. So it uh, starts at 11 a.m., and it's a uh, all-you-can-eat. Uh, you come in, and, and for $6, uh, the, uh, the, uh, it's all-you-can-eat, and it's uh, children under five are, is free. And uh, uh, we'd like to invite everybody to come out and see us. Starting at 11, we'll feed to 7 tomorrow night. Yeah, so lunch and dinner. There you go. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, a lot of, lot of work, but it's a lot of fellowship for the men. And uh, we usually have a good time. Uh, we're working this afternoon uh, getting the uh, meat prepared and then uh, start early in the morning tomorrow and putting everything together. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of fellowship involved, a lot of, you know, jabbing and kidding and whatnot early in the morning but uh pretty serious during the day and and uh we try to do a good job and we've always had a lot of compliments on how good the chili is so if you haven't tried it come on out and see us sure yeah y'all do a great job with each feed that y'all do the chili feed and the chicken dumpling feed la later on and february as you mentioned and it's always a good good lunch to come by and fellowship you, you when you come down you always uh, find somebody you know and uh, just I fellowship with while you're there. That's so right. It's a good time. The uh, I think one of the clinchers on how good it is is we have a lot of people that are there at noon and the evening meal, so uh, <laughs> can't be too bad. Sure. Yeah, it's always always a good one. Uh, anything else you'd like to share about the church or anything? No, uh, I mean not uh, not offhand, other than uh, it's the uh, First Christian Church, which is uh, uh, next to the uh, across the street from the uh, downtown fire station. And uh, we got a uh, decent amount of parking out in front, but like I said, we got a great facility to uh, to eat in, and just invite like to invite everybody to to come out and see us and have some good good meals and uh, and a little fellowship along the way. Sure, of course, we'll be looking forward to that tomorrow at the First Christian Church here in Dexter. And Jim, uh, we just officially ended football season for the Dexter Bearcats last night, and that was a heartbreaker. Oh, tough. Tough way to end the season. They they had a great season. Just I, I just I saw all the home games and and uh, just really enjoyed watching them play. And uh, I thought they played together as a team and and played hard. And and I don't see how the Stevens kid made it through the season. You know, because he he'd he'd rather run over you than run around you. And uh, of course, I coached his dad uh, back a few years ago, and and uh, his dad had the same same. Uh, attitude as an athlete that he was going to do everything possible to succeed and so I, I really enjoyed watching them and, and uh, they had the game last night and sort of let it get away and then had it again and 
as we talking earlier, the uh, the Park Hills coach uh, took a lot of guts to uh, make that uh, win or win or lose call at the end to go for two because he's either going to win it or lose it right there. Yeah. And boy, they ran a great play and and executed the play well and and were successful successful with it. So you got to give them their due. They earned it and uh, they're a good team. Yeah, they are. That's a lot of different than that second week of the season. I guess so. I didn't see that game. No. I, I remember listening to it, and, you know, we were about 30 up, I think, going into the – sometime in the second half. and, and uh, Fourth quarter, actually. Fourth quarter. Yeah. And I think they scored like uh, 20 points uh, in the fourth quarter, and it got down to 10 points or so game. But uh, – so I imagine that gave them some encouragement, thinking about, well, we came back on them up there, you know. But I'm telling you now, they were good – they were – Big physical team that was well coached, uh, made virtually no mistakes, and, and that's what hurt us early in the game. We had uh, five or six uh, penalties that uh, that that really hurt you know hurt the drives, and then we got it down to the one yard line, and got stopped. So we had our chances, uh, but they had the last play of the game, and that was it. Yeah, that was a heartbreaker, but still, you had a great season for the Bearcats, and we enjoyed every minute of it. We had some great games on TV this year. That's you look right. look back, Crothersville, that big win over Crothersville, that uh, that was a shootout. I, yeah. I uh, that was a game that, uh, that that was that was sort of like similar to the Game Six of the World Series. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you just uh, you just can't believe that you're going to win the game, but uh, they end up Crothersville's an outstanding team, and that game was hard to believe that you were going to win it, but they. They held on and did, and and uh, so Dexter, they had a great season. You know, when you go through your schedule nine and one, uh, uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing to be ashamed about there. Sure, and we'll have to have you back for February talking about that chicken dumpling feed in February, and it'll be basketball season then. We'll, so we'll talk be, talk a little we'll, basketball. Yeah, we'll be doing that as well. And we appreciate you uh, letting us get on the air and and say a few things about it, but. Uh, uh, Again, uh, tomorrow starting at 11 o'clock till 7 uh, at First Christian Church. All you can eat chili feed. All right. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Jim. See you, Ty. And I'll be back with more.